Hey everybody, it's Social Fraud from High School Top 200. Um, I'm just going to do a, um, a couple of reviews for the games that are on today. Um, as you can see, people have complained about my background, so I uh, reached out to a, uh, a up-and-coming local artist, and she uh, happens to actually sleep in the room next to mine, and so she has provided the background for me. So I hope you like it. It's um, not too distracting from... Uh, the green screen that's always at the back. But um, the bigger game today, so there's two games today. There's the Christ College one versus Christchurch Boys. And then there's the the one from Tasman where um, Melbourne and Nelson are going to play. So two massive games. Uh, the Moisk is not up for it because they're overdone in um, Blenheim. Um, and so uh, that doesn't really come into it but it's still a massive game because they are rivals the biggest schools within the in the region and so that, that's going to be a good one but the Christchurch boys and the Christ College one um I, th I think um off the bat I think Christchurch boys is going to win and I'm just going to say that and explain it why because I think that when um obviously these two teams have a big rivalry against each other and and Christ have have done really good with their rugby program so far within maybe the last two years or three years. Now, with last year, Isaiah was obviously a massive influence on that backline and how they attack. So they don't have him. Uh, and that, that's a big deal to me when I kind of look at it and from what happened last year to how it is this year. Now, everybody knows that the Christchurch boys' backline is a pretty gun backline in terms of... Um, how much speed that they have, how much quickness that they have, how much uh, ball skilled players that they have and creators that they have. So um, those kind of things all mixed into each other. They do have some injuries, so Tohu's not there. Um, the other one that's not there... Oh, no, no, he's the only one that's missing from the back line. And so it's going to be Louis, who's obviously going to be um, the most important guy in the team, I think. Um, then they've got Ryan Barnes at first five. They've got... Um, Oli Lewis at second five with George Harding at centre. And then it's it's good because they've got um, Max at the back, Max Hughes at the back and at fullback. Um, Yoji and Brigham are on the wings. And so even with that back line um, and, and, the way that, and I, the way that I think that they're going to play it is that um, I think most of the attack is going to come through Max as well as George. Uh, it's going to be between Max and George, and then Ollie to me is going to be the real creator of the moves in their backline. So I think if you shut down Ollie, um, then you're gonna you're gonna be able to um, stop the momentum of the ball, make sure that he takes it into contact instead of getting the ball out, because I think once George gets the ball and Max gets the ball, um, Brigham plays into it, Yoji plays into it too. Um, Ryan is going to have to at least show that he's going to attack from his position at first five to make sure that the defense stays within, especially when you've got guys like Hunter Wilson, um, uh, Porter and Anderson as well. Um, but Hunter Wilson is the main one that, uh, that will be at open side. Once he gets out there, and I think the idea of it is that he should stay in. If, you, if Ryan can keep Hunter um, closer to the ruck and not spread out, um, then I think that it's a better chance that Ollie creates that second five, and then you can get George and Max being the the two sort of um, X factors in that in that um, in that sense, and then to have those two actually make the breaks, make the um, you know create the angles, create the lanes, and then Yoji and then Brigham will, that will play off that one. So like I think. And in that situation, that's that's how I think. I personally think that that's how they should play it, how they will play it today. Um, having Ollie there at second five means that you can create from different positions. Ryan um, is a great runner within space, so that's taken away from him. But then also he does have a pretty decent boot at the same time, um, and he is very very quick off the mark. He's not the biggest dude that you'll find, but He's one of those guys that once you hit like uh, under 19s and under 20s, he's gonna fully, you know, he's gonna he's gonna grow right into his body and things like that. And so um, that's one thing with Ryan that that even though he doesn't make you know rep size this year, I believe that under 20s he's gonna be in there somewhere. Um, 
And so with that side, I think that that's how um, Christchurch Boys is going to play it. And the way that Christ should defend it is to be able to, is to try and get your Lucy's in there as much as possible. Try and get Hunter out there. Um, Cause it's going to be George Cole, Curtis Weeks, um, Shun Miyaki is um, Miyaki is going to be out in second five, and and Will Greenslade at centre. And I'm just reading it off the the sheet that I have. Um, and then it's got Edward Peak. And so like, um, Shun is the one that I'm I'm not sure of works out at second five. Um, I don't know how for someone I don't know if he grew like a few inches over you know the holidays or something like that. I'm not too he I don't think that he can mark or be defensively impactful enough to shut down Ollie and be a defender that you can that you're worried about because I think more defense when it comes to defense to me more it's more about uh, you worried about how they're going to tackle you or how they're going to do, dominate you and things like that. And you can say like, oh, yeah, well, that's the sneak attack. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever with your sneak attack. But the whole idea of it is that you're not going to be scared of him. You're not going to be afraid of what he can do. I hope Shun runs in there with the, his first tackle and just flip and lays somebody out because then everyone can get that attention. But as for right at the beginning, it's like no one's going to be scared of that. No one's going to be worried about that. And they're pretty much going to kind of cancel him out. Um, I don't know why um, they have him there or why they switched him from nine and and what George is like, because I don't know uh, George's game at all. But, I mean, there must be something that they're working in there that, that Shun can take care of. Now, offensively, yes, I, I can see that, obviously. Defensive side, no. And then I'm afraid that if they make him the target of attack, then, you know, Hunter's really going to have to work hard. And Porter's got to jump over. I, I'm saying Porter because I don't know how to, um, sorry, say his, his first name. But uh, the blind side, Porter's going to have to get over. Fletcher Anderson is also going to have to really front up on defense and leave the ruck um, to take the place of there's no um, loose forward out there to help shun out if he becomes a liability on defense. Um the great thing, uh, and the other worry about it is, is that Corbin is back, uh, which is going to be hard. Uh, Corbin is back. Uh, he makes a massive difference. Then they got Cameron Henderson at blindside, which makes a massive difference as well, because you got two real big bodies there in the, in the loose forwards. And I'm not too sure, personally, how they're going to handle that. Um... For me, Christ has the first the the front row and the locking situation, and that's fine. And and you can give some of those kind of things up. The scrums just have to be fast, or else, um, uh, because I think that if if that if those scrums are not fast, that front row is going to take over. And having Patrick is like someone like that in there. You just can't substitute someone like that and just bring someone on and or like you know he's always going to take over that game and Austin Hewitt and Ben um, Lopez uh, are going to have to really work hard at that front row to try and keep him out there and the Gunson's also the one that's there too. Arthur Allen's a really good player as well, so like I think that front row is really going to dominate. But then when it comes to the ruck time, taking Patrick out of the game. Um, Sam Derry is probably really important as well when it comes to um, the lineouts, but also um, his push in, in his push in the scrums is also going to be real important too. And he's at number four, and he's going to be behind Gunson and Allen. And so, knowing that Patrick's on the other side, that that scrum's going forward, and um, Christchurch boys is really going to watch out for that. Um, Mitchell Cox is on the is on the bench, which I was kind of surprised at. I thought that he would be in there, um, be in there somewhere. But I mean, because I I think he's a really good player and growing tall, and I heard that he's, you know, he's really getting up there in height. So he's going to be one of those ideal blindside kind of guys. Um, but um, in all, I. I do think Crashers is going to win. I don't think it's going to be about be a by a, a lot. I think maybe 
uh, seven or five to nine points, something like that. And it's not going to be, uh, yeah, it's not going to be uh, a massive difference or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I I'm pretty interested to see how it goes. I'm pretty interested to see how the boys um, uh, do today. And so uh, go watch them. Go support your team. Please support the boys. They put a lot of hard work into their trainings and getting prepared for these kind of games and for the season. So show your support. That's my Peace.